we are taking questions and answer on respiration in organisms living organisms so why does an athlete breathe faster and deeper than usual after finishing the race this is because when we run or anybody who does some uh, activity which involves depletion of energy so when the athlete runs in the race his body needs certain some energy so in order to get the extra energy the athlete now breathes faster because we need more oxygen to be supplied to our cells and this speeds up the breakdown of food and as a result more energy is released next is list the similarities and difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration so the similarity is in both the cases the food is oxidized and energy is released this is what the similarity is but the difference is carbon dioxide and water co2 and h2o these are the end products of aerobic respiration while alcohol is the end product of anaerobic respiration so this aerobic respiration releases more energy than the anaerobic respiration why do we often sneeze when we inhale a lot of dust laden air this is our body mechanism defense mechanism so whenever comes something come inside our body may it be nostrils may it be eyes or anywhere else the body reacts to it so when dust particle enter say our nostril then it will send or trigger a message to the brain which is the main governing body a main governing organ in our body so the brain instructs the nasal chamber to initiate the sneezing and this is a technique or a method of our body to remove the unwanted dust particle from the nostrils so this is the kind of defense mechanism which is employed by our body next is take three test tubes fill each of Uh, with each with water label them as a b and c and keep a snail in test tube a a water plant in test tube b and in c keep snail and plant both so which test tube would have the highest concentration of co2 the only thing which we need to consider in answering this is living organism releases carbon dioxide and plants take carbon dioxide while doing the um you know your respiration so living organi- organisms they release co2 carbon dioxide during respiration while the plant utilizes the carbon dioxide for photosynthesis so the test tube a will have the highest concentration of this one will have the highest concentration of co2 since the co2 or carbon dioxide side as it comes only by the respiration of snail in test tube b and c a part of carbon dioxide is utilized by the plant for photosynthesis and hence we'll see that there is less concentration of co2 carbon dioxide take the correct answer in cockroaches air enters the body through spiracles during heavy exercise we get cramps in the leg due to the accumulation of lactic acid this one normal range of uh, breathing per minute in average adult person at rest is 15 to 18 during exhalation the ribs when you exhale inhale exhale it will move downwards so these are the answers spiracles lactic acid 15 to 18 and move downwards next we have to match the yeast used for alcohol producing alcohol diaphragm is related to the chest activity the skin is related to the earthworm the leaves with stomata then the fish with gills the frog with lungs and skin we have to say true or false during heavy exercise the breathing rate of person slows down this is false because it actually goes up plants carry out photosynthesis only during the day respiration respiration only at night no this is also false frogs breathe through their skin as well as their lungs 
So this is true. The fish have lungs for respiration. No, they have gills. So this is false. The size of the chest cavity increases during inhalation. No, this is true. We are given below uh, in this square. There are certain uh, you know letters which are in this square given, but there is a combination. You know these words may be present in any direction. There are hidden words there, upwards, downwards, or along the diagonal. So we have to find the words for the respira respira respiratory systems. So we uh, have the clues like this: the air tubes of insect, you know, skeletal structure surrounded surrounding chest body. It can be rib cage, it can be diaphragm, the muscular floor. This is diaphragm. Tiny pores on the surface of leaf. This is stomata. All these are there, you know. So we'll just go to the answers. The air tubes of insects, crassia. The skeletal structure surrounding chest active cavity is ribs. Muscular floor of chest cavity is diaphragm. Tiny pores on the surface of leaf is stomata. Small openings on the side of the body of an insect is spiracles. The respiratory organs of uh, human beings is our lungs. The openings through which we inhale nostrils and, and anaerobic organisms, yeast. And the organisms with tracheal system ant and this is the answer this is the way you have to do you have to make a block see this is ribs this is you know if you choose spiracles this is uh, simply ant like this all we have to choose nostrils etc the mountaineers carry oxygen with them because the obvious reason is this one the amount of air available to a person is less than that available on the ground so this is the answer so these were